We can change the view of the map using the map style menu over here. For example, road map looks more like the map found on common GPS units. We also have satellite view. And this offers a very close range detailed snapshot of the locations. You can experiment with others just to see how they look. Now let's say we wanted to add some of the images with no GPS coordinates to our map. In this case, let's go ahead and navigate over to the Miami Photo Smart Collection. And we're going to place these images somewhere in Miami. So the first step is to narrow our map in on Miami. To do so, search for Miami in this search bar and press enter. The search has narrowed us into Miami with a search result marker as shown here. And you can see in the legend that the little uh, black circle inside the marker represents a search result. Now we can take a couple of our Miami photos and place them on this map. In the thumbnail browser here, simply select the image and drag it over to your map. If you wanted much more precise positioning, of course, you'd have to zoom in on your map and do it that way. You could also search by street name, city, uh, whatever you wanted to do. For now, I've just picked uh, very general locations. So I'll just drag a couple of images over here. Okay, if you wanted to select multiple images and add them to, to the map, you can do that as well. So I'll go ahead and highlight this image, this image, and this image. Actually, I'll leave this one alone because I've already used it. So let's go with this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to drag each one of these onto the map. Since we now have three photos with the same GPS information, Lightroom has added a cluster marker which indicates the number of images that are in a specific location or area. So in this case, we have three images with the identical GPS information, and so we have the cluster marker. If you want to scroll through the images on a cluster marker, go ahead and click on it, and you have these arrow keys over here that you can use to browse through each image. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the Miami Photos uh, filter. So I'm going to hold Command and click on Miami Photos. So that's going to bring back all the photos in our thumbnail browser. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. 